Hello, I'm Joe Robertson with Juniper Networks. Welcome to the fifth in our series of videos on the networking lifecycle. In this one, I'm going to focus on service automation. If you're watching this, you are probably professionally involved in some aspect of IT, security, or networking. When you think of automation, what comes to mind? Perhaps this does. A robot as your next network engineer? Actually, the future of network service automation looks pretty much like this. Just the network itself, smart enough to be self-healing. Although we can already put in place lots of automatic backups, a true self-healing network is still a long ways off. But already, we can automate a lot of routine administrative tasks and we can set up our machines to do the kind of troubleshooting needed to solve problems fast. This is the networking lifecycle that Juniper uses as our framework for network and security projects. Although certain tasks in the plan and build phases can be automated, service automation is for the moment focused on the operate phase. The idea is to free your staff from many tedious, routine tasks like inventory management or basic maintenance and troubleshooting. This allows them to focus on higher value activities, such as how to meet the changing needs of your business. We at Juniper see that there are three logical points for automation in a modern network. In the device, at a concentration and control point, and in the vendor back office. Let's look at them one at a time, starting with the devices. Every one of our products that runs the Junos operating system continuously monitors itself, noticing, for instance, hardware failures, software exceptions, and thresholds that have been exceeded. When it sees something, Junos triggers scripts that mimic exactly the troubleshooting steps that an experienced support engineer would go through. This creates a kind of snapshot of exactly what was happening in the device at the moment that the incident occurred. You can imagine how valuable this forensic information is to the engineer trying to fix the problem. We have seen real cases of highly intermittent failures, things that sometimes take months to reoccur, that our engineers have been able to solve in as little as one day because of these reports. The point of control for Juniper service automation is called ServiceNow. It is software that gathers, filters, and displays the alarm and alert information from all of the Junos devices. It then gives you the option of automatically opening a trouble ticket with our Technical Assistance Center and forwarding the snapshot so our engineers can get right to work. How valuable is that? Well. Our statistics show that cases open via ServiceNow are resolved, on average, twice as fast as traditional telephone or web cases. And although our engineers are already able to resolve half of those traditional cases on the first day, that figure is fully two-thirds for ServiceNow cases. Not only that, ServiceNow also acts as a collection point for complete, detailed inventories of all Juniper hardware, software, and firmware in the network, including software versions and rev levels. Those inventories become the raw material that our back office systems use to match against a variety of our internal databases. The result, delivered through our Service Insight software on the same console as ServiceNow, includes reports on known bugs and issues with the types of equipment that is found in your network. It also lists equipment that is at or nearing end of life, end of engineering, or end of support. And it gives you information on the status of the support contracts for each device. Networks and systems have become so complex that automation is almost a necessity. Seemingly simple tasks like inventory management become a nightmare in today's large and rapidly changing networks. Tracking, troubleshooting, and fixing problems is extremely complicated. Your staff and your users don't have any time to waste. You need a network that can self-diagnose, prioritize and present alerts, and show not only what happened, 
but why? These are not nice-to-haves anymore. They are mission-critical. And that's why Juniper Networks includes service automation in every support contract at no extra charge. This concludes the present series of five videos on the networking lifecycle. In it, I have covered the three phases of the lifecycle, plan, build, and operate, and gone into further detail on service automation. I hope that you have found this information useful.